Each ROP begins with a start step and finishes with an end step. Between these two steps, recipe phases and structure elements such as simultaneous or alternative sequences can be inserted. Recipe phases are inserted by selecting the Recipe Phase button and clicking on the position in the recipe procedure structure where it is to be added. Steps or phases are separated from each other by transitions inserted automatically by the recipe editor. In the first phase, a pot will be filled with 3 liters of water. Because the process is being simulated, the runtime parameter is set to 5 seconds. This value is already set as the default for all phases. A simultaneous sequence is now required so that oil and salt can be added while at the same time the water is heated to 100 degrees Celsius. In the first phase, 100 milliliters of oil are added. This is followed by 10 grams of salt. In the simultaneous phase, the water is heated to 100 degrees Celsius. The prepare water recipe operation is now complete. The cook pasta recipe operation includes two phases. In the first phase, 1.9 kilograms of spaghetti are added. The temperature is then set to 100 degrees Celsius. In the recipe unit procedure, the heat phase is started in the prepare water and cook pasta recipe unit procedures. Here, we could have made good use of the non-self-terminating phase functionality to allow heating to continue uninterrupted between the phases. To avoid unnecessary overheads at the automation level, this was, however, deliberately left out. In the recipe itself, it would have been extremely simple to configure this functionality. We would have simply selected Continue in the first call of the heat phase. The prepare sauce recipe operation is somewhat more involved. We have already seen the input required for a phase. So from now on, we will no longer show each individual parameter setting for the phases. The recipe operation consists of the phases that add one liter of tomato sauce, and then heat it to 40 degrees Celsius while being stirred. Finally, 50 grams of salt and 50 grams of pepper are added.
The prepare sauce recipe operation is now defined. The recipe is then completed by adding the two recipe operations, serve pasta and serve sauce. These recipe operations contain the drain phase. This completes the master recipe. The master recipe is now saved, validated, and released for production. Based on the Piccata Milanese version 1.0 master recipe, we will now create and start a production batch of 5 kilograms. An order, called Order GS, is created in the GS order category. A batch named Batch 1 for the production of 5 kilograms of Piccata Milanese will be created in Order GS. And released for production.